Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com bringing you another fly tying video and today I'm tying another wet fly and this is a classic old school style wet fly. Um, you guys have been asking for them and just my views have been great on my wet flies. Way better than most of my nymph fishing ones which are you know my bread and butter but I love the old wet school stuff and uh, honestly I just bought a new rod I bought a Douglas upstream I've been playing around with it and I absolutely love it so I'm doing more wet fly tying here lately to uh, you know to use the rod this pattern I'm showing you here today this um, pheasant tail soft tackle I actually was swinging it with a little tiny streamer on the river for bass the other day with a client and we were catching smallmouth on this wet fly so give it a try it's a lot of fun and uh, smallmouth are a blast on the fly rod as we get into summertime here that's what I'm going to be switching over to um, pretty easy one to tie probably the hardest thing if you're a new guy is going to be getting that hackle looking good and a little bit of practice like anything you do a little bit of practice you're going to get it down so anyways guys enough talking here you go with the picture of the fly and then the material is to tie it. All right, guys, here you see the pheasant tail soft tackle in the vise. Pretty cool, simple looking, generic fly. And uh, let's get into tying it. For a hook, I'm using a Firehole 609. This is a size 12. You can definitely tie it smaller. For thread, I'm going to use some Semperfly Nano Silk. This is 12 watt in black. Um, use whatever color you like. I like it, the Nano Silk, because it's thin and very strong. It's equivalent to a 70 denier UTC but it's like more sturdy than a 140 denier. So I'm just going to put that on, wrap that back to the bend. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of wire here and I'm just using some small silver on this one. Use whatever color you like. I like this one. Silver stands out a little bit on this darker pheasant tail. So I'm going to use it and I'm going to tie it on at the bottom here and back at the back and run it right above where the barb would be on the hook as you see my thread hanging down there. So next thing we're going to do we're going to put on some pheasant tail fibers and I pulled off about six or so here already and I'm going to set this on top I want the tail to be about the length of the hook shank not really that much longer I would err to the short side rather than the long side. I like that, that's pretty good. So I'm going to make a couple wraps forward and then I'm going to bring this back and wrap it down to lock it in. Then we're just going to bring our thread up here about two thirds of the way. And I'm going to start wrapping this pheasant tail forward. Just keep nice and tight side by side wraps. I like to hold it down with my finger sometimes as you see there. Once I get up there, about two thirds of the way, I'm going to tie this off and trim it. Now, I'm going to take my silver wire and I'm going to counter wrap. I'm going to go the opposite way that I just wrapped the pheasant tail. That will keep it from sinking down into those pheasant tail fibers and secure your pheasant tail fibers from the teeth of a trout. Now that the wire is tied off, I'm just going to helicopter that and pop it off of there. Alright, next thing we're going to do is add some peacock curl. And I'm just going to wrap this down on top there, make a couple wraps over it. And then I'm just going to put a couple nice side by side wraps. I'll even over wrap it a little bit um, just to build up a little bit of a thorax here. I like that now. So we're then we're going to tie this off. You got to leave room up here for our hackle. And our hackle is going to be um, partridge. I'm going to use the back off of partridge. The back has a nice browner color. I like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip off all the fluff of the back of the fiber. Take P 
pinch the tip and then slide all the fibers back like that and that's going to be my tie in point right there in that gap that you create so we're just going to tie that in there don't pull it too tight or you're guaranteed to break the fibers off when you try to wrap it so tie it tight but loose enough that you don't cut the thread your thread doesn't cut your hackle so put this into my hackle pliers I'm going to strip those fibers backwards and start wrapping it forward. Whoops, popped out there. Hold on. Okay, so strip those fibers backwards. And I like every time I go around the top, I like to tease them backwards again. Just to spread out them fibers nice and neatly. Then once I get up to the eye here, we're just going to tie off about three or four wraps. Trim the shaft. And then I'm going to pull all these fibers back. Get them all back where I want them and wrap a nice head to finish with here. Don't go too big on that head. Just make a nice little head with it. Whip finish. And if you'd like, you can add a little bit of UV glue or head cement there. If I get two nice knots on it, I usually don't head cement. Like there, I got two nice knots. That ain't going anywhere. So there you see the pheasant tail. Uh, we're going to strip a couple of these fibers around the body there. There you see the pheasant tail in the vise. And uh, good looking fish catch and fly. Okay hey guys, hope you liked that video. Um, pretty simple one, not too hard to tie, and it does catch fish. It's a generic pattern that's going to imitate a lot of different species of mayflies. So give this one a try. If you really wanted to, you could throw a little mallard wing in there or something like that. That would look great in there too. Um, play around and have fun. Just keep it proportionate. You know, don't make the tail big and long. Don't make the hackle drape way back past the bend of the eye, bend of the hook. You know, keep your stuff proportional. If it if it's proportional and it looks natural, the trout's gonna eat it. So, have fun tying, guys. If you have any questions, drop me a comment down below. You can do that, um, or you can shoot me an email at wholesalersflyshop at gmail.com. I love answering you guys' questions. I do this because I love to. So. Um, thanks for all the great comments you've given me here lately, and uh, I have fun doing it, so I hope you have fun watching it. Until next week when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.